The term lockdown sceptic refers to someone who believes that either the initial lockdown due to the coronavirus pandemic was flawed, or they believe that the government should ease the current lockdown sooner. This seems to be a growing phenomenon around the world, with protests occurring in several countries such as the USA and the UK. Many of these sceptics point to the damage to the economy from shutting down millions of businesses, or to countries such as Sweden, where the government decided not to shut down the economy. Polling suggests that these people, in the UK at least, are still in a minority. Just 13% of people in a recent poll believe the easing of the lockdown restrictions are happening too slowly. One such figure who believes that the ending of the restrictions should be accelerated is Professor Carol Sikora. Sikora is the former director of the WHO Cancer Programme and has been vocal in urging the government to end lockdown sooner. So what is the case for ending lockdown? The great thing about coming out of lockdown, we've seen in other countries, in Austria, Czech Republic, Norway and Denmark, they came out on the 14th of April, that's nearly six weeks ago, and they've had no recurrence. The incidence has stayed low, even though they're doing a lot of things. The bars, the schools, the nurseries are all open. So we've got to follow them. And I think, although we're being very cautious, I think we just have to go there. It doesn't matter whether we go back now to schools, for example, on the 1st of June, or wait to the 1st of September. The risks are there, we have to accept them. But the other countries have done so well. Despite coronavirus cases falling, people opposed to ending lockdown point to the deadly impact of a second wave of the virus. The 1918 Spanish flu's second and third wave of the virus was far more deadly than the first. What about a second wave? Only this morning, the WHO Director of Public Health stated that she didn't believe a second wave was likely. We have to plan for that. And the NHS plan is the potential for another lockdown in September, for preparing critical care facilities to reopen the Nightingale hospitals, and then the whole problem of winter pressures that happen every year, older people going into hospital because of chest infections and pneumonia that beset the NHS as long as I've been a consultant in it. The real problem is how we get out has to be monitored. That's the key. Testing for the virus, testing for immunity, and also counting the numbers. At the moment, the rate of infection has plummeted, which is great. Hospitalizations um, really down the, at the bottom, and deaths are falling quite fast. They fall a little later than the infection. But as we come out of it, people interact. There's an opportunity for the virus to spread more fast. And as it spreads, it increases the number of new infections. So we have to monitor what's going on. Lockdowns were put in place to prevent people from spreading coronavirus. The aim of lockdowns was to prevent the deaths of thousands of people. Many are still arguing as to the effect of the lockdowns on whether they have made such an impact as to reduce the spread of coronavirus. Professor Sikora sums up the case to end lockdown and how he believes the government should do this. How do we get out of here? Let's just do it cautiously, but let's have a timetable. You know, we need a front page of the paper with dates, the optimistic scenario. Let's forget about the pessimistic scenario with the second wave. We can come to that if we need to. Let's have an optimistic wave so that by the beginning of August, we're well out of it. The pubs are open, the restaurants are open, families are getting together, grandmothers are kissing their grandchildren. Let's get going. We've got to do it now.